Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Thursday Facebook Live, where I come to you sharing some fun projects. So be sure when you're coming in to say hello. If you're watching on the replay, then don't forget to type in hashtag replay. And we're going to be doing some fun crafting, focusing on the clearance rack. I don't even know, maybe many of you don't even know that we have a clearance rack, but we do. It's a great place to start your shopping and um, end your shopping as well with some great bargains. We have some great fun bargains on there. I'm going to show you what all, where all you have to go to shop in the clearance rack. So be sure to say hello when you're coming in. And... And let me just, it looks like I'm a little crooked. So we'll fix that. Things look good on my side. I hope things are looking good for you. I hope you're having a great Thursday. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Preston. I see you tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, Preston's going to come stop see Grandma tomorrow. Hello, Cecilia. Thanks for popping in. Be sure to say hi ho when you're coming in. But we're going to do a little shopping on the clearance rack today. And just because it's on the clearance rack doesn't mean that it's bad stuff. There's lots of fun goodies on the clearance rack. So, um, we'll go ahead and get started. And as people come in, then they can say hello. Um, got a package today in the mail from Stampin' Up. Yes, just a little package. But this will tell you how wonderful Stampin' Up! is, is that many of you know that the Purple Posy, the new ink color um, ink pad, there were some issues with it. It did not pass the quality testing as it sat over time. So Stampin' Up! pulled it and um, it is now available for purchase. So I had ordered from the purchase preview with going to one of the... Um, on stage events back in April. So what they did is, I got this in the mail today, and they sent all of us demonstrators, um, that looks a little bright, is that looking a little bright? Um, they sent all of us demonstrators a brand new set. Let me turn this off, let me see if that's any better. Or maybe I'll turn this one off. Anyhow, um, I thought that was like great. Stampin' Up! to do that. I mean, I didn't even have to order it. It just came in the mail. So, Stampin' Up! Thank you so much. I mean, they are really a great company. They really spoil us demonstrators and I don't know about anybody else, but I love it. So, um, I'm very excited about that. Um, let me see if I could um, log on to my phone for my comments. Alright, so... Um, we're going to shop in the clearance rack tonight, and um, let me go ahead and share with you where you go. So, of course, um, you're going to go to my website, and you're going to click on the shop. All right, so once you go to the shop, over here on the left-hand side, and I'm not sure, I know it's kind of getting washed out a little bit. Hey, Betty. Um, you're going to go down to the area where... Yeah, and you really can't see that. But anyhow, whoops. I'm going to go over here where it says clearance rack. So when you get to the clearance rack, you can scroll down and see lots of great fun items. Something in particular I want to point out is this Everything is Rosy product medley. It originally was $80, and it's on sale 15% off for $68. Now, you cannot beat that. Um, I did do some videos over on YouTube back when that was available. And um, if you purchase that through me while they're still available, I'll send you an additional um, link for some fun projects to do with it. And it was very popular. Stampin' Up! found more in the warehouse. So they wanted to pass it on to... Um, to you with a discount on it. So I thought that was great. Um, let's go back up to the top where we kind of scrolled through here quickly. That's a beautifully detailed laser cut specialty paper. 
Um, here's punches. If you're a planner, that Big Plans Planner Kit, I mean, it was $37. It's only $14.80. We have some washi tape, some ribbons, some dies. Um, there's a project kit to learn calligraphy. That's great. Um, Memories and More Card Pack. Um, envelope Punch Board. That was $20. It's down to only $12. I mean, you cannot beat that. Um, here's another Memories and More. Some dies, embossing folders. Um, the Petal Promenade Designer Series Paper for only $4.40. Like, really, stamp it up. You are, woo. Share What You Love Embellishment Kit. I mean, a lot of great things. Silver Embossing Paste. That's a goodie. Here's some silver at mini gable boxes. It's coming time for upcoming showers and weddings. So what a great way to stock up on them. Um, this is the French version of the um, uh, Everything is Rosy. So if you're into that, you can go ahead and get that. Some more dies and ribbons. But right here, these sweet cups. I don't even know if you've even noticed what they are. And I know you cannot... Let me see if it'll pick it up. Mm, 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 mm. There you go. Sweet cups. $3.40. You get 10 cups. That's what we're going to be playing with tonight. But I just wanted to show you where it is you go to find things. On the left-hand side, you'll also see, um, although you, I know you can't see, um, Paper Pumpkin Gift of Fall add-on. There's still some of those left. The holiday catalog clearance rack, and then you can go into suites, shop by occasion. It's really easy to go ahead and shop online through the website. So, speaking of that, I have a current host code, which I have listed right here. You can place an order at any time through my online store at stampinsuecreates.stampinup.net. Um, you'll get a, for a $50 purchase, you'll get a free card kit and hand stamp thank you card. And I'm going to be focusing on this beautiful snow front stamp set. There's so many things you can do with this. Now, when you get your card kit, if you don't own this, you may want to add it to your order because you really need it. It does coordinate with the waterfront, so you can even incorporate that in your cards. Or um, you can substitute something else that you have. So it'll be a very generic type of um, card layout and you'll be able to substitute whatever you have. So anyhow, here, here's those sweet cups. We'll get into that. Oh, I did want to share with you one more thing. I was going through down memory lane, some of my old um, things that um, I used to create. This book is, I don't even know how old this is. This was, back in the day, a punch art class that I continued to hold each and every month. And it was so fun to look back some of the old punches, some of the fun things that we created. And um, I know I had a punch art class in the mail. Look at that Santa. I mean, you could still incorporate that with some of these punches. But look how cute he is. Um, the monkey, he was really cute. But um, this is an old, an old book that I did. And it's always nice to look back at some of the things that were created and still you can create with them so the punch class that I did a while ago that was very popular um, so I mean if that's something you're interested in seeing be sure to let me know okay so let's get started so um, these were the items that I told you I had ordered and I didn't know where they were well as soon as I hung up from the last one where I said I didn't know where they were I just looked on the floor in between my two desks and there they were so I have a couple boxes of these because I thought they were a great bargain. So they are the sweet cups and they are food safe. And they come packaged like this and you'll get 10 of them. And they have the lids and the bases. And I'll tell you, there's so much you can do with these. To make them a lot more fun, um, I saw another demonstrator and I apologize because I don't remember what her name was. But um, she did a fun project, and do you want me to show you the project first, or do you want me to create it and you see how it is as you go? That's up to you guys. You have to let me know. Um, but when I saw this, I thought, well, now there's a reason why I bought them. Because, you know, sometimes you buy things, and 
you know, because it's a great deal, and you know that eventually you're going to do something with it, so you eventually figure something out, right? Or somebody else does, and you see it. So this is going to involve these plastic domes that you actually, I ordered them from Amazon. They are, let me grab the box here. And I only ordered one box of them because um, you get 12 of them, but I'm only going to need one half of it. See where I'm going with this? See that on top? Can you figure that out already where I'm going? So these are, um, they're called Still Cool Clear. They are 80 millimeters, and there's a pack of 12. So if you just do a search on Amazon for 80 millimeter, and these are ornaments, I believe they're, they're listed under ornaments, um, you'll be able to find them. They're really inexpensive. They don't cost a whole lot of money. So um, what we're going to do with this, being we don't really need the ornament thing here on top, is you could probably break this off, but I'm just going to go ahead and use my snips. And be careful, you may want to wear protective eyewear. Oop, there it goes. There we go. Snip it right off just like that. Okay? So we'll put that aside. So now, I, what I wanted to do is, well, let me show you a sample. Let me show you a sample so you see what I'm doing. So I made myself a little shaker kind of snow globe out of this. And I put a lot of embellishments in there. And I covered the base. It lid comes off so you can still put your little goodies inside. And um, I used the, um, the snow, the let it snow paper. I thought that that was a great idea. So I thought, well, what else can I do? So I went ahead and I thought, well, Halloween's coming up. And um, those of you that followed me over the weekend during my world card making day, I showed you a fun card. It's actually posted on the top of my Facebook page. And I used some of the old paper pumpkin um, embellishments. So I added them to this. And in the top here, I have that spooky... I actually probably think I put a little bit too many balls in there. But I put the little haunted house on top. I decorated the sides with the leftovers from the paper pumpkin kit. And this paper is in the holiday catalog as well. So that was fun. Um, I ran out of time, or I would have came up with more ideas, but I was thinking if you used even for like a shower or something you wanted to make these, you covered this with like some of our floral paper and decorated the top with like floral design and maybe some um, punched out butterflies, that would be really fun. So that's what I'm going to show you how to make. So you may wonder, well, how am I going to know? Um, is there a pattern? How am I going to know how to measure this? Well, I had to take one for the team, and I literally just kind of tore one apart. I mean, I only lost one. Um, you can go ahead and make yourself a pattern out of this, but I just used this. So all I did with this is put this on my paper. I went ahead and just took a pencil and um, drew around it and cut it out. Okay. So then what I was left with was this. Now, if it's a little bit too big, no worries. You may have a problem, though, if it's a little bit too small, but you can go ahead and trim it as you go. So we're going to go ahead and take our lid off. So here is our um, paper, and you may wonder, like, look at the curve on that, but nope, no worries there. This is going to fit right around. It'll get tucked up right into that rim and go right around there and overlap. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So... Um, I'm going to find my seam of my cup, and that's what's going to be the back. I'm using the um, Tombow glue, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm only going to put on a little bit of glue at a time so that I can work my way around it, because I love Tombow glue, but I don't like how it is so sticky all the time. So we'll go ahead and just wrap this around, flattening this out. And Oh, I just think that this is so cute, I think, for like holiday parties or little gifts, um, some little um, treats, or um, you can go ahead and put those little, um, those little puffs. I love those little candies, those peppermint puffs. You can find them anywhere 
Um, I just think that that is so fun to put in here. Okay, so there we go. It just trimmed off a little bit. Now I'm left with this little bit of overhang, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead with my scissors and just go right along the edge of the cup to trim this. And that's really great in helping you because I don't know about you, but I can't cut straight to save my life. There, look at that. It's perfect. Okay, so there we go. There's our cup. So we'll put that aside. It still has some sticky on here, but you can take your embossing buddy and if you go ahead and pat over um, any of the sticky area, that will take that right away. And usually for my hands, I use the hand sanitizer to clean them. So we'll put our little cup aside. Let's go ahead and focus on our lid. Now our lid also um, has a little bit of a glossy um, side to it. So what we're going to do, and I already did some of this ahead of time so you didn't have to watch me. Um, any of our circle dies you can use. You can go ahead and measure the die right over the top, but I wanted to make it a little fancy. And um, I used the circle, the largest one from the Stitch Shape Framelits. You can see how that'll fit like right inside there. Okay, so that's what I did. I cut them out, again using that Let It Snow paper. So I used that. I also cut out, um, this is our the paper that comes in the um, pack with you know the the cardboard piece if you want to give it a little more stability you can also cut one of those out too which I did that I mean I don't know if it's necessary but I just kind of felt it gave me a little more um, surface there to work with so we're just going to go ahead and glue this on here just like that Okay. And if you like this little thing, this is really cute. It's called the Tipsy. Um, I got it through Etsy, and they're really reasonable. Um, I gave one away over the weekends, and you, it just you keep your Tombow glue right in there. You don't even have to put the lid back on your Tombow. I mean, mine's just been sitting out since I got it. And you just keep it on your work surface, and this way you're not shaking your Tombow to, to get it down to the end. It was one of the things that always annoyed me. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to be using the stamp set, The Snowman Season, because we, I want this to be like a snow globe with a snowman. And I don't know if there's any comments coming through or if anybody's still here. Um, if you're still here, send some little hearts or something. So let me know if I'm still live. <laughs> okay, there, I see a couple hearts. I, I'm still live. Okay. I get worried, you know, because if I, I kind of don't see anything, I'd be thinking like, oh boy, maybe I'm like, you know, cut off to the world. I don't know what happened to my phone. So um, if I miss any comments, I'll be sure to um, go back in when it's all done and over so that if you had any questions and I miss them, I'll be able to help you. Okay, so we're going to use the stamp... This one here with this snowman, I just think he's cute. He fits this circle perfectly. So I'm going to use Memento ink. And we're going to stamp right on this circle. My heart wasn't working, but you saw. <laughs> Your hearts were working, Betty. I saw them. I saw them come across right after I said it. It's pretty quick. You're on the ball there, girl. I hope you're doing well, Betty. Um, okay, so we're going to stamp right on here, and I hope my head doesn't get in the way. So when you're stamping a photopolymer or any of our stamps, you just want to press down and hold it for a little bit so the ink transfers. Here we go. Look how cute he is. Now, I can go ahead and color him, <clears throat> but I can do it an easier way. I'm going to go ahead and bring in um, another piece of cardstock, a little piece of Whisper White. And I'm using my little... Um, Ah, uh, silicone mat, so that because the photopolymer doesn't have any type of cushion on it, so this will help me get a nice crisp image. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. There we go. Look at that. Fabulous. So I'll put this aside to clean. All right, now what I want to do is, um, this would be very difficult to color him in because of the background, so I'm going to do a little bit of cheating here. 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color him. I'm using our Stampin' Blends, and I use my, um, uh, what do you want to call it? I use my um, brother, um, oh, you know what I mean, the, the brother uh, label maker, Durr. And um, I went ahead and made them bigger because my eyeballs aren't what they used to be. And I just re realized I need to get another color. So I'm going to color in his nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and color in his hat. And the Stampin' Blends don't have to be used just for blending. They can be used for coloring as well. So I'm going to color in his hat. I'm using Light Bermuda Bay. I thought he had Coastal Cabana, but I don't know. Maybe maybe there aren't there isn't one. Aren't one? Maybe there isn't one. But um, sometimes I find coloring so relaxing. So there we go with that. I'm going to pull in some dark real red. Again, you can make this any color you want it to be. But this is the color that I'm going with. But the Stampin' Blends can be used just like regular markers. And the best thing about these is when you use regular markers, if you're doing it, if you're coloring in a small space, not so noticeable as far as lines. But when you have a larger space, you just get that variation in color and you kind of get those marker lines. With these alcohol markers, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, mobile homes destroyed in Southern California town. Oh, my goodness. Those poor people just came up on my um, weather channel thing. Those poor people affected by all that going on in California. My goodness. I don't know. Sometimes I'd be thinking, you know, God is sending us a message. You know, sometimes, you know, you'd be thinking, that, oh, my goodness, I hope the end isn't near. Okay, so there's our little snowman colored. I'm going to go ahead with my light smoky slate. And I'm just going to kind of go around the outline a little bit. This makes a big difference. Um, you can use um, light pool party if you want to use a, a bluer color. Just makes a big difference in um, the snowman. So, you know, we know that he's white, but, um, you know. So there's my snowman colored. Very basic, simple, right? All right. So now what you want to do with this is you want to go ahead and you're going to fussy cut this out. Yes, that's where the trick comes in. So, um, well, I was going to show you, but let me just cut it out. Now, we're not worrying about the arms. We're not worrying about the poof on his hat. Because we already stamped that on here. So, um, let me cut that off. And cut around that. If you went outside the lines with your coloring, no worries there because that's going to get cut off. We're cutting it off. Now, when you're doing the cutting, it's okay if you leave. <clears throat> Ooh, my voice changed. Um, it's okay if you leave that black line on there. That's fine. Um, but there he is. Look at that. Now this scrap, of course, you know, I'll put in my scrap pile. All right. Now we're going to go ahead with our Tombow. And I'm going to apply the glue to the back of here. But no, you know what? Before I do that, uh, all right, let's do that. So I'm going to want to show you how to use the puff paint. I know I showed that over the weekend, but isn't he cute? I just love snowmen. I love snowmen. As soon as I saw this set, I knew this was going to be one of my first purchases. All right, so there, look at them on there. I'm going to embellish them a little more. Let's go ahead back in with the red and do the little tassels. I probably should have done that beforehand, but I was just too excited. Um, I'm going to use the Dark Call Me Clover to kind of highlight this little Charlie Brown tree over here. And then I have the Dark 
crumb cake. I'm using the darker colors because I want it to stand out a little bit because it's a little bit dark background. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on his arms too. So prayers going out to all those that are affected in California and I hope some relief comes soon with that. So there we are. There's our snowman. So let's embellish him a little further. Um, let's bring in our puff paint. The Snowfall Accents Puff Paint. You want to shake it really well. Now, it's a lot different from the puff paint that we used to have from, you know, when we used to decorate sweatshirts and, and things like that and t-shirts. It comes out very liquidy. So my suggestion is bring this up to you instead of taking the puff paint down because this will save you from a big, a big mush coming out. And you're just barely touching where all those little flakes are. If you wanted to put a couple more flakes in, you certainly could. If you want it to be flaky. <laughs> I may even put a little bit on him. Okay, I think that's way more than I need. Alright, now I'm going to use my, um, my heat tool. I'm going to use it on the second setting, on the high setting. So it's going to be a little bit noisy. want to warm it up a little bit before I go to the surface. Now be careful when you go to put this on the surface because if you go sideways, that puff paint is going to run. So you want to go, let me get my snips, you want to go straight down on top of it, okay? And um, depending on how thick you put it on, that's, and I know you can't see. All right, let me get it started a little bit and then I can move it. Okay, here we go. You'll be able to see it's going to puff right up. There we go. And you don't want to do it too long. Um, only because you can burn it. Believe it or not. It will burn like a toasted marshmallow. Well, if you wanted to go with that look, I mean, you're perfectly capable of going for toasted marshmallows. Now, I did hear... Um, Someone has sent the card in the mail, and they were wondering about if it was going to flatten. Now you want, you know, you would want that to um, to stick around and dry a little bit. They said that it did flatten in the mail, but all they had to do was take their heat tool and then go ahead. And I feel a sneeze coming. Oh, I think it's passing. Go ahead and just reheat that again, and um, after it comes in the mail, it'll just puff right back up again. I'm just looking to see if I did this long enough. But it does harden a little bit after sitting around. All right, that's good for me. That's good, good, good. Okay, so there he is. Look at he has a little bit of dimension. Lots of fun, right? Okay, so now this is going to go ahead and we're going to glue this to the top. And don't worry, I mean, if you want to use a larger circle to cover that entire um, base there, you certainly can. I'm not going to worry over that. How cute. Going to try this tomorrow. Circles first and containers come. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll have this posted. This will be posted. I'll go ahead and post this over on uh, my YouTube channel as well. So you can go back in if there's, you know, something that, you know, you um, might have missed. Or you just wanted to watch again. Or, you know, you just want to support me over on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to press that right on there. I think I may need a little bit more. The only thing is, um, the heat tool and glue do not go too well together. So if you're doing this at home, you may want to do all of this type of um, embossing first, then glue it, you know, onto your lid. You know, um, I had it glued onto the cardboard, so kind of some of it is coming up a little bit. All right, so there's our little snowman lid. So let's embellish this a little further. I want to have my little... Don't do what I did. Make sure your little um, seam is in the back. But we're going to cover that. So I took a strip. Now this is about a half an inch. And this will, you can go ahead and cover this with that. So I'm going to cover that seam. But... Um, not too much I can do about that right now, because I already did that, but anyhow, um, no worries. going to go ahead, we're going to glue this onto the edge. Now you have to be careful because it is slippery, 
because the material that the lid is made out of, you know, it's food safe. So if it comes into contact with food, they want to make sure that it's going to be safe. So it has a little bit of a glossy finish. So it is a little slippery. But these are so cute. I mean, not just for snowmen. You can use this, like I said, any time of the year. Um, you can put little candies inside. You can put a little gift inside. Um, a gift card? No, I don't think a gift card would fit. But, um, you know, you can make it and see what you want. Um, some nice jewelry. jewelry would be wonderful. <laughs> That's what I'd go for. Okay, so just overlap that a little bit. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to embellish it a little further. I'm going to go ahead and get out my little um, snowman, what do they call this? A little snowman kit kind of thing where it has all these little goodies in here. So let me put that in there. I'm going to take this glitter um, washi tape that's in here because I keep forgetting about that. And as soon as I find the end, a bread tie is a great thing to use on the end of your washi tape. If you take a, you know, one of those plastic bread ties and um, stick it underneath here and keep it on there, this way it'll keep the end of your washi tape so you're not like digging for it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this washi tape around the edge. That's really nice. Adds a little more glitz to the cuteness, I think. All right, so I'm going to just overlap that just a wee bit. There we go. So see that adds a little more glitz to it. So while I have this out, and I'm very sticky now, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pull out these little um, goodies that are in here. And I'm going to add some of these buttons to my snowman. I tried the nose, and on this guy, I thought the nose was just way too large for him. So um, you know, maybe if you were using one of the other ones, you may want to use the, the nose or, um, you know, to you. So there we go. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that cute? All right, so there we're done with that. All right, now, um, I have stickiness all over. Okay, so we have our little cup that we um, did our bottom, and this would fit right on top just like that, right? Cute. So where's my seams? My seams are in the back, okie dokie. Um, I went ahead and... On this one that I originally did, I added some of our sequins in there, the little snowmen in there, and I know it's hard to see because the little things are stuck all over. I used the Designer Series paper, and, and the snowman punch fits perfectly on there. And I used some of the, um, the little hat that came in the kit and the little arms that came in, in the um, embellishment kit. And that guy, he got snow stuck on his nose. So I did that. Oh, and then the ribbon I used. This was retired ribbon. I'm not sure if it's still on the clearance rack or not, but it was on the clearance rack, but it was the ribbon from last year. So I thought, well, let's use some current ribbon. So this, I love this ribbon. This is the real red, um, well, it's not really ribbon. It's um, kind of like a yarny stuff. <laughs> and um, I love this because, where's my scissors? When you trim this, this reminds me of like an old sweater that you kind of, uh, and I know I've said that before, that you kind of um, pulled apart and just it made that, you know, kind of ruffly thing. I like that you can take the ends of this and foof them up. And that will go ahead and get glued right onto here. Now, you do it on the... Um, the lid it will come off with the lid or you can do it down here on the base of it and I think that's what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit on that probably want to use a glue dot or something strong like that or the um, tear and tape something cute okay so now in this little kit they gave you little snowballs okay so a question came up as to um, 
Where are my snowballs? How to apply the snowballs. I mean, there isn't nearly enough to use in our little shaker, but um, you can use the fine tip glue pen works perfectly. You don't want to really use the Tombow because it remains sticky. So after it dries, but the um, fine tip glue pen makes like a shiny appearance and it dries hard. So that's perfect to use for that. So that's just question answered there in case you were wondering. Okay. So what did I do with my lid? Oh, here's my lid. So um, these are like those little snowballs, but they're much larger. And I got these at the Dollar Tree. And of course, these, again, had these in my stash. Now, if you open them carefully, I'm going to try to see where, am I upside down? Yes, I am. Um, they come in this bag. There's a topper on it, but the bag is like resealable. It has like that sticky thing on there, like how our envelopes come. So I'm just going to, I mean, this stuff could be really dangerous in your house. And here's what I did is I just put some in there. Now you can add, um, I'm going to close this up. Dory will be chasing those around all night long. And they are so staticky that, oh my goodness. Um, I don't even know if they would sweep up in the sweeper. But I just put some in there. Now, another thing that I had, again, in my stash is I had these stickers. They're little um, snowflake stickers. So I thought, I wonder how they would look inside. Now, they are the wrong color blue. And I'm just thinking. What I did is I peeled the little sticky thing. You can peel it off the back. I'm just thinking, I wonder if I can use my blends. Uh, to make them a different shade. Hmm. It did make it... Yeah, it did work. All right. So I'm just going to do a couple of them. Oh, yeah. You can see the difference. Use your alcohol Stampin' Blends to color them. And I'm using the Bermuda Bay that I used before. And they do have a little bit of residue sticky on the back. I mean, I didn't get it all off. I guess if you wanted to use like Goo Gone or something like that, you can do that. Because see, these two kind of stuck together. But whatever. We're not going to worry about that. Um, once they get in here, I don't even know if I'm going to use all these. But once they, they get in with your little snowballs... Snowballs will stick to them, but look at they colored perfectly. Um, my emoji not working. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's throw. Let's go for three. All right, put them in there. All right, and um, what I did then, you can use a hot glue gun. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Tombow glue. I'm going right around the edge and putting some glue. Now you can add, you know, dazzling diamonds. We have that new glue, that new um, glitter out, that chunky, real chunky glitter. I wasn't able to get any of that because it was sold out and I didn't want to wait. So then I took this to the lid. Now there's my little, I want to see where that goes, that little nubby thing. That's going to get hidden. You're not going to see that. So took that there, gave it like a little bit of twist. Then we, you would want that to sit and dry before you have those little balls um, come in contact with it. Because there's going to there's gonna be some that want to stick to the edge. I can already see it. But let me flip it quickly. All right. See those little snowflakes? Uh, that Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. But, I mean, I can always still... Let's see. I don't think I like them in there. I'm going to take them out. Sorry, guys. I'm going to use you somewhere else. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and put my lid back on. And then you want to set it aside to dry. But it's just so cute. And there's a little staticky in there. So in order to get rid of the staticky, you can take a dryer sheet and wipe the inside of your snow globe. But I don't really care about that. But, um, it's just so stinking cute. Um, now let me see. Use a little bit of Tom, Tombow glue here just to stick on my little ribbon. 
You can do a little tag on there if you want. But there it is. It's just so cute. Take advantage of that clearance rack for sure. And um, check out other items that are in there. Now, if you're a demonstrator, you know, you may not want to buy some of that. Unless you're using it for your own personal use, then, you know, whatever. But it's a great way to get getting these little snowballs off of here before they all go blowing away in the breeze. A great way to get some um, great items at quite a discount. So we'll go ahead and move this aside. Go ahead and check out my original one with these snowmen from the designer series paper with the little snowman on the cup and then the Halloween one using the little haunted um, what is that paper called? Mm. I forget what that paper is called but with the little mansion I cut it out again I cut out a circle the larger circle with the basic black and then I cut it cut out the little haunted house and again just decorated with some of my leftover paper pumpkin pieces so there you have it there's some fun faux snow globes that are also treat containers. I think that there'd be a lot of fun to fill with all sorts of little goodies. And I think they'd be great for kids. Great way to um, give gifts, you know, for the kitties. And um, yeah, I just, I love them. When I saw the idea, I'm like, yes, 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 I have to do it. And um, thank you so much to the demonstrator that posted um, the idea here of doing the snowman. I truly appreciate her sharing her, her um, stamping and kind of led me to come up with some of my own ideas as well. So that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, check out my host code. Um, that with a $50 plus order or if you're putting any order in to use the host code then I know that you want the free items that I'm offering for that month and it's going to be a free card kit and we're focusing on the stamp set snow front which everybody should have there's going to be really fun cards I'll be sharing them soon oh and um I shared last night the um, product medley that's in the holiday catalog. Let's move these little guys aside. So before I let you go, um, some of the cards that I use with this product medley, which is just like the everything's rosy, but it's all focusing on Christmas designs. And um, Betty, when I see these deer, I so think of you and Jerry um, with those the pictures I have. It came up in my timeline the other day with the with you guys feeding the deer. And here's one I stamped the tree and I used the dies to cut it out. I used my Wink of Stella, which I didn't add any color to it. I just used the existing ink when I um, stamped it and used some of the elements in there. Now, I was concerned when I um, did the gifts. So I went on the demonstrator Facebook page and I posted them and everybody was like, well, what? What's wrong with them? They're beautiful. And they said, no, the way that these gifts stamped, well, apparently that's how the stamp is made to look like that, like that, um, oh, the, those etched stamps. So this is a great bundle. Um, it's called Most Wonderful Time Product Medley. So not a bundle. I apologize. It's a product medley. And, I mean, if you want to get your Christmas cards done quick and easy, here's a beautiful stamp set, which you can only get by purchasing the medley. Coordinating dies, which has a beautiful outline. This will outline the tree that I showed you. This is the other tree that's on here, right there. And then the gifts. This is um, all one for the gifts, but when they cut out, they cut out separately. There's a little angel. And there's a little star for the top of your tree. It comes with so much die cuts, self-adhesive die cuts, um, papers. There's this gold tinsel, which really sparkles. It has gold and white in it. It also has these gold stars. And just a ton of paper and dies. These are these will fit on the front of a card for a background piece. You get a whole bunch of them. And then of course lots of designer series paper double sided. One side has the gold elements on it and the other does not. Lots beautiful beautiful paper. 
then it comes with all of these die cuts that are self-adhesive from the holly berries to um, candy canes oops there we are and um, these beautiful um, banners and different deer I would imagine you probably could color them too if you wanted to and more candy canes and just it just has a ton of product and it may look like it's pricey but when you figure how much you're getting in this kit and if you had to purchase it all separately you'd be paying a lot more than um, the listed price for it so something to think about most wonderful time I'm going to be creating lots and lots more um, projects using this um, and look at how that tinsel just, I'm not sure if it shows up, but it just glistens. It's beautiful. So, yeah, check that out. It's in the holiday catalog. And don't forget that everything is rosy at 15% off and all of those other fun items that are listed on clearance. And, yeah. So that's it for, for tonight. Don't forget to, that I'm still offering the $20 shopping spree. Just post a photo of five cards that you created. And um, you'll be automatically entered in for the drawing. I'm going to be, that's going to run through Saturday. And I believe Monday I'll be doing a Facebook Live with the winner for that. I have that for my customers and also my downline I'm offering for them as well. Um... And what else? Um, the October class in the mail is now done. Um, I'm looking to see what to do for November. I'm thinking the punch with the um, the punch pack with the um, the pumpkin apple one with the stamp set. I'm, I'm thinking that that would be a lot of fun. <coughs> I don't really like to offer the ones that have the dies because not everybody has a die cutting machine. So look for that. Um, and I'm still looking if anybody wants to start up. I have a, um, a monthly group that swaps cards. So um, I assigned the partners today. So if you signed up for this month, you've been assigned your partner to have them in the mail by the 20th. And um, yeah, that's about it for now. So thanks so much for joining. Now I will be back on Facebook for another Facebook Live next Thursday at 7 p.m. What I'll be doing is, well, I guess we'll just have to see. So, um, and everyone enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll be seeing you online and through YouTube. Thanks for joining me. Good night.